Back in March, we first introduced you to Blake Whitley, a Hanover fourth grader who has discovered that he's become very good at making free throws. It got him a trip to Chicago last week to see if he could continue his, his success on the biggest stage in the country. I get the ball, I take three dribbles, and then I pause for a second. Then I just shoot. If it were as simple as that, everyone would make free throws like Blake Whitley can. But it's not that easy, unless you have a gift for doing it. Blake entered the Elks Club National Free Throw Shooting Contest, and while winning competitions at the local, state, and national levels, managed to make 100 out of 105 shots. It was pretty hard, because I was, um, this one kid went 23 to 25, so I was kind of nervous, but I went 25 to 25, so. I know he gets nervous, but he's one of those kids, I guess he's gotten really good at just, from what I can understand from what he tells me, he just blocks it out, and it's just the ball and the hoop. His regional victory in Maryland earned him a spot in the national finals held in Chicago at Roosevelt College. It was a much different environment than all the other qualifiers he has won. Blake and the other competitors even got their own trading cards for making it that far. The gym was pretty big. There was a lot of people there. And it was at a college. It's very intimidating because unlike a lot of team games or team sports, you know, this is a individualized competition. So it's, you know, no talking, no sound. It's a pin drop quiet environment. Blake made his first 25 straight shots to advance to the final round against his last competitor from Arkansas, someone who had just as much ability as he did. They go in order, so Blake has to go first and shoot five shots, and he makes them. And then the next kid has to do five shots, and he makes them. And I told my husband, I was like, we're going to be here all day. But when Blake made another five straight, his opponent watched his fifth and final shot roll off the rim. When you realized you won, did you yell? Did you scream? Did you high five anyone? Did what what'd you do? Yes. I was just very excited, you know, but you feel bad too because the, the child that missed the shot, I felt really bad because he was just so devastated and I knew Blake would have been exactly the same in his, you know, position. Blake received a trophy that stands nearly as tall as he does, forcing his father to rest it between his legs for the flight home. Rural Point has posted a congratulatory message on the school's marquee, and everyone knows who brought home the national title. It feels great to win, but other than that, I don't know how to describe it. Well, we're just extremely proud of him. I mean, he has put a lot of effort and, and hard work into preparing for this, and it's just, we're really proud of him. And like you said, he doesn't quite get it yet, but I think he will as he gets older. It's an amazing accomplishment. I think he's a little overwhelmed with it all now. The basketball season wasn't quite perfect for Blake. He is a huge Texas Tech fan, and their loss to UVA in the national championship game is still a sore spot. Blake does plan to compete in the 10 and 11 year old age group in next year's Elks Club tournament, and he gets his name on that plaque at the National Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Missouri. So he gets a trip up there to see that eventually, probably later this summer sometime.